Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another video. It's Friday morning, and honestly, I'm having like an off day. Um, I want to start off with some positives. Um, my kids are sleeping really well at night. My son's going to bed a little bit later, but he's sleeping super good at night. He's not waking up and coming to my bed nearly as often as he was about a month ago. My daughter's sleeping through the night. Um, however, she's waking up at 5.30, and this has been a full week of her waking up at 5.30 in the morning, and it's kind of taking a toll on me. Like, I'm already tossing and turning all night, and so having to wake up at 5.30 with her has been a challenge, and it's just throwing me off. And so I'm bringing you guys along with me on this Friday, kind of just having an off day, but still momming and just getting through the day with her kids and trying to make the most out of it. So, we went on a walk this morning um, because when Ayla woke up, she woke her brother up. If you don't know, they share, be uh, they share a room. And so they were both up at 5.40 this morning. My husband wakes up at like 6.30, 6.40. So I don't really like bringing them into our room during the week because they'll wake him up and then we can't have two dysfunctional parents. So. We, when we got back from the walk, we watered the grass. Go in there with her, baby. She's crying. She doesn't want to be by herself. <sighs> so we got back from our walk, watered the grass, and then we came in, and I just started cooking them something to eat for breakfast. So they just ate some waffles. Actually, they ate pancakes with some yogurt and a banana. And so I had some waffles with them. I made waffles and pancakes, in case you're wondering why I keep saying both. But um, let's go ahead and get today started. Right here, Mama. I did not leave you. Okay. You done? Hold on. Okay. Mama. Not to touch it. Come on, Ida. 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 recording Good job, Ayla. I am so tired and I feel like there's so much to do that just to pick up around the house. So I'm just gonna sit here for a few minutes and then get started. I think I fixed that, I don't know if you saw in the last video, those black lines that were kind of going through the screen. I think it was just because my exposure was a little too down. So hopefully I fixed it so that it's not doing that this video because that was kind of annoying when I was editing. Drop it on the floor. Huh? We just dropped it on the floor. 
on the floor? No, no, I want cola and your scratch. Your webs. Now your teddy bear needs to go in your bed. Bubbles. Bubbles needs to go in your bed. Bubbles needs to go in your bed. Ayla, get off the cookies. Put them on Papa's nightstand. This one's a little different, you have to unravel it. Right here. Excuse me. Excuse me, Ada. Excuse me, Mama. Excuse me. Excuse me, Ada. Can you help me? Start button is on the That one. You see a start button? Yeah, that one. Start button. In case you're wondering, I didn't know where the power button was because this is a new vacuum and I haven't used it, so don't think I don't know how to vacuum. I just didn't know. Thank you, baby. Unplug it means to take it off. Huh? Unplug it means to take it off. Oh, thank you. Fire? Yeah. Bye. I need to roll it back up. I'm already done with it. Um, this video is going to be honestly raw. Like, if you guys hear conversations between my kids and I, if you hear me yelling at them, like, uh, that's just how it is. Um, and um, it obviously doesn't help the fact that I'm not feeling well. So, can we pick it up? Okay. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that this is a new vacuum, so I don't know how to start it. So. Something that has really helped me um, during the summer, like being busy and having so much to do, has been really incorporating my kids into the chores that I have to do. So I basically clean the house every day as long as I'm not having a really bad headache. And so I make the kids responsible for picking up their toys, uh, putting away dirty clothes, things like that, just so that all the tasks are not completely on me. This also helps them be responsible for their cleaning and incorporating them into our morning routine. So, just a tip. Who closed my door? Me. Okay, come on. Thank you, son. That. Yeah, take it out. Thank you. Hey, Lou, you gonna help brother? You have two hands, put the pen down. Thanks, let's go. Thank you, Ayla. Right here, Ayla. Huh? We're right here, baby. I use that shoe. Mm -hmm. They want to see the light. What do you mean? We gotta wash all the clothes. Thank you, Ayla. <coughs> What'd you do to Ayla now? Mama. Yes, Ayla. Why did you make Ava start crying? What did you do? Me do nothing. Quit touching her. Give her space. Stop running her over. You think that's nice to be knocking your sister down? No. Then can you please stop? Mama. Mama. Are you okay, Ava? Yeah. Okay, shake it off, Mama.
So I decided to take a break. Um, in about 40, 45 minutes, we cleaned almost the whole house, except for the kitchen. And I'm just going to wait until Ayla takes her nap to tackle the kitchen, just because usually she's literally at her feet. And I cannot... I can't get much done, and so I brought them in the playroom to just play before I clean in here um, because they were just getting a little antsy, and I could tell they were just, they were literally just following me around cleaning the entire time. So, taking a break right here, and I'm literally just doing nothing while they play. Um, I do my best to make a point at least every day to play um, with them either together or independently for at least 10 to 20 minutes under like interrupted um um but right now i'm just literally resting like i'm just tired i could probably take a nap here honestly because my head just hurts i'm not feeling the best um, i'm trying not to let the house go especially with the weekend coming up, I'd rather just rest on the weekends with my family than to have to try to clean all weekend. I'm also keeping the house as up-to-date as I can with cleaning just because I know we're taking off on a trip in a couple weeks. And I do not want chaos on top of chaos, so... Yeah. We found it? Yeah. Yeah. Through the water bottle? Yeah, cool. Yeah. You found your spatula? What are you going to make? Make food. Okay, make some food. Yeah. We're not spilling the water. Hey you guys, it's a little after 10.30 and I've officially finished cleaning. The only thing I have not done is the playroom and I might do that just later on tonight or even this weekend. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys. I do not think I'm much of a very like loud person. I saw this down. I don't think I'm much of a loud person as it is and when I don't feel well, I'm even like more quiet than normal and so I think my kids do not enjoy that because they are at like another level of hyped and energy when I'm at my lowest which sucks because it feels like probably they're not receiving the time and attention that they need or that they would want but I'm giving the best that I can and for them it's probably not enough so that their behavior is a lot worse, their attitudes are a lot worse, their energy is a lot more chaotic and so it's been a really rough and raw morning and I wanted to share that with you guys because I, I know in this video you're going to hear a lot of their whining and crying and me probably sounding very upset. And that's honestly because I just don't have the patience and I'm not entertaining them. Like I'm not entertaining the misbehavior nearly as much as I would or I'm not even dealing with it. So it's, it's just a lot. So that's just my way of reserving the small energy that I do have. 
Right now I'm just gonna put these clothes in the dryer. They finished probably like an hour ago. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's 11 o'clock. I got myself a snack. My daughter's laying down for a nap. Gonna hang out with Jedediah and rest for the rest of the day, honestly, probably. Um, he's gonna take a nap in about 30 minutes and then uh, they'll have lunch. We'll hang out and then their dad will be home. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, getting stuff together and just getting through the day or rough Friday with me. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. I also forgot to mention, um, I only have like two more videos going up before I'm back to work, you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the summer content before it turns into back to school content. Um, so stay tuned. I have probably a pack with me and a trip, a vacation trip coming up. So that will most likely be my next couple of videos before we're back at work. So enjoy and follow along. Bye.